on this episode of the Realmatic Podcast. Yo, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, that's the most dangerous short man alive, bro. I mean, go, hey, he be by the action. That's toxic, bro. bro. Did he shoot Meg? That's toxic. He, he definitely did. You think he did, bro? He did. He, Dog, I'm telling he you, bro. Damn, bro. I thought you said he didn't, bro. He didn't. He did. well, this nigga know. be switching sides. <laughs> this nigga no, be bro, switching cause sides. Because every time we'll have a topic and, and then we'll have some time in between that shit, you'll be home and they'll be like, he might have shot that bitch. Real Matic Podcast. What it do? What's up? Got the Why? new glasses in the cut. Yeah. Why, what kind of glasses hey, are those, bro? Hey man, I just got some new glasses. Like, hey, we look a you fly guy. Too? You got you got new glasses too, bro? Yeah, you look a fly guy. Thank you, good sir. Yeah, bro, we got the squares on them. Yeah, we got some Ray Bans. Yeah, man, they kind of got. Yeah, I'm gonna check We got them Ray Bans. I'm not gonna. <laughs> Crazy, boy. <laughs> man, got that got that blue light block. You know what I'm saying? We we looking at the screen crazy now. Mm. Mm. They can do that. Yeah, man, we we reflective, bro. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. yeah, 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 yeah. What's good, real Maddie crew? <laughs> what we on, man? What we on? Oh, no, no. What's, what's good? What's good? Just hungry, bro. What you hungry for? You ain't feed us up, young man. I said he hungry for, nah, for the content. Gotta... Yeah, 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 I'm hungry for that content. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I said he hungry feast. for that content, man. We got, we got some crazy topics, content. man. Boo. Hell yeah. Y'all ready to Let's get just it. take a moment. Let's take a moment of silence for for uh, my boy. You can be right. Ooh. No, man, what are you boy, doing? Bro. Oh. That nigga is not your boy, bro. This, bro. I mean, that guy is not, not your boy. <laughs> you're not doing this, bro. Hey, yo, my B, bro. But not for a moment. It sounds P and V rock. All right, moment over. <laughs> crazy, bro. <laughs> she crazy, boy. Ben, go with the intro. Yeah, bro. I don't even feel like doing the intro after that, bro. Damn, bro. <laughs> I don't feel like doing the intro. Boy, after that shit, bro. Fuck it. Okay, no intro part. Go, go for it. Yeah, nah, bro. bro. Nah, bro. We need it. The people Some need to know what they watching, silence, bro. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro. But nah, man. Hey, welcome back to episode 89 of the Real Matter Podcast. And if you don't know, my name is Ben. I'm with my brothers, Rasan and Marlon. Hey! Hey! So let's get it started, man. So we got Britt Barbie. Britt Barbie. Yeah. That's the period no. uh, period uh, girl, man. So we finna get it, bro. Yeah, man. I'm finna show y'all this clip. Rip Barbie. Period, I period, I'm on my period up. She thought she was fucking with me. That bitch is delirious, huh? She Brit Barbie, I'm a breast doll. I think big bitch, not small. Bad bitches to the front, please. Ugly hoes to the back wall. That's period. Period, 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 period. Brit Barbie. Got my name up in your mouth, you don't know no better. Don't forget I'm from the south, yeah, I got them headers. You watching everything I do, studying all of my moves. Wish you could do what I do. This is trash, bro. 
This shit is fucking garbage. Bro. Why do we <laughs> allow stuff bro, like this to slip bro, through the cracks? Why are, we, <laughs> why are we not gatekeeping, bro? What the fuck is going on? Oh my god! Said, why are we not garbage? No, that's literally what it needs. Man, we need the gatekeep days. Oh. Man, I didn't want to see that. That shit was like, hey, bro, I ain't gonna cut, bro. I ain't gonna care. I'm finna get in my racist uh, bag, dog. I'm finna get in my racist bag, bro. In your Ooh, racist bag, yes, bro. Go because on. why the fuck y'all letting these white people take off like this, bro? This shit is ass. That's ass. Why are y'all doing covers on this shit? Like, why? Like, they don't tell me she finna like, take off. Bro. Don't tell me this girl finna be on bro. TV, bro. I swear to God, bro. they put this girl on TV. I'm a, I'm a bro. She gonna go on tour, bro. Bruh, I'm not trying to see that shit, bro. Like that's literally where it's coming, bro. Why are we are we not gatekeeping, bro? TikTok is too powerful now, man. Y'all just be yeah. allowing this stuff to escape. Like I love the internet because you know you get these funny videos, but bro, y'all be taking this shit too seriously, man. Like, why are y'all letting that take off? Like, that's not even I don't it's not even funny. It's ah, not funny. Ah. That's, that wasn't funny. It was just kind of kind of cringe. It was like it was lame. I didn't, I didn't get the whole point of that. That shit was stupid. Yo, yeah, she like, said she's just this was like her, her ad lib tape, bro. She just wanted you to see what she can do. You know, she left that space in between so you could put your your good 15 in between, you know what I mean? Like bro. she was just letting you see, bro. She giving you the chorus. Why she gonna have her own song next, bro? For real, for real. Man, at least let it be black. That's all nah, I'm bro. saying, bro. If you're going to do nah, that, bro. let her People be don't black, that. bro. Let People a black person that, shine, bro. That shit crazy, bro. They don't want that, bro. <laughs> they don't want that, bro. They don't want to see this. Hey, bro, I'm tired of seeing this shit. Time and time after get. I just bro, don't see the point of it. Yeah, the point like, of it's not. What, what, what are you doing? Bro. I can see if it was actually funny. This shit not even funny, bro. She's just sticking her tongue out. It's she's really making a mockery of black women. Do y'all see what I see? Do you see what I see? Why didn't we think of this before? But we ain't gonna talk about that though. There you go. That's a little too deep for them. <laughs> ben Devin, no, ben for real, bro. Devin today. Yeah, yeah, bro, that, that Jones, it's like kind of cringy. It's like, it is. It is. Why? Bro, like, it's not nah. funny. But don't let this don't let this blow up more than what it has, please. Man, I hope. Shit. But anyway, though, man, moving on. So we got Bishop Whitehead. So Whitehead. Bishop Whitehead is back in the news for putting his hand on a woman during a live session. Why they take pictures and they want to be on social media. Take the pictures. 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 Go over here. Go over here. Grab her. Grab her. Out. Grab her. They were sent, y'all. They were sent by, and I'm gonna say it like this: They were sent by um, two uh, two nobodies, two bloggers that are nobodies, and um, they were sent in to my church to disrupt my daughter. So I have my wife and my daughter, who's ten months old, sitting there, and she came and said, "And now you, you're a liar, going towards my wife." That's when you see her walk in front of me, going at my wife and my daughter, and I grabbed her. Everybody's saying that I choked her. How can you choke somebody from behind? I, I, don't, I don't understand it. I never wrapped my arms around her neck. I have no fingernails, so they say that I scratched her. I don't have any fingernails. I, I never have fingernails. You can see I don't have fingernails. So I grabbed her from behind, by her shirt, from behind, and by her shoulder, and I escorted her out, and I'm going to be posting this video. So yeah, this is the same guy that said um, somebody robbed his church. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the same. Yeah, guy. Yeah. I, I was like, I had, I was, I, while I was listening to that, I was like, I was like, let me look at this man up one more time. I thought I saw something about this. This man thought he got robbed or something like right, right. Mm -hmm. My boy, yo, what was that big chain around his neck, bruh? Buddy, but I stopped. My boy was I in the double R, bro. He was in the double R complaining about my girl, bro. That is crazy. Mm -hmm. Lifestyle kind of built different, but that's that that's some super churches, bro. Bro, he claims he was defending his wife and his kids from her. So that's why he Maybe. put his hands on her. Maybe. 
I don't see that in the video. I don't see that so, in the video either. But you know, in his in his logic, really. you know, you gotta you gotta try to spin it best you can. Yeah, legal fees, legal fees get in the way, of paying for the Roy's, but for the, for the double R. I don't know who he is and where he came from, but y'all just making religion look so bad, bro. You doing everything except praising the Lord for real, bro. Like, what are we doing, bro? Why are you putting yeah. your hand on somebody at church, dog? This is the last place that you should be doing that. Why the bloggers infl- infiltrating your church, bro? <laughs> what what is this? <laughs> Like, what Yo, you got that? you got subsections of the incel inside your church coming for you, bro. Is, is the incel. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? The Reddit He's users coming incel. for you. What? Hey, <laughs> that is crazy to me, man. Nothing like, you go to church, and you know you're supposed to be like, you know, praising the Lord, but you got internet beef coming to your door at God's house, bro. I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. It's stupid, man. Like, yes. You're supposed to be a pastor. This is, this is God's way of testing him. <laughs> and then it's just like, <laughs> he a joke though, bro. Cause like he got videos where he just showing his closet and how large it is, how he got Louis Vuitton and Prada and all that. It's just like, yo, you saw my man rocking the fence, I like bro. That. I don't like how he dripped out here. Like, yo, oh, I'm just like, who is going to his church, bro? Like he obviously is not good at what he's doing, bro. Like. Man, he's great at what he's doing, bro. He making the Fendi, Louis Prada. You saw it, double R. He doing I'm talking it, about man. preaching, nigga. <laughs> nah, bro, don't I'm mean talking nothing, about bro. preaching. He's not good at preaching, bro. It dog. is 2022. That don't mean nothing, bro. If you, if nah, you ain't bro, a pastor, somebody showed you're the not inside, a pastor bro. with the drip, bro. What is you Somebody doing? showed the inside. You don't got to be good at preaching 2022. Hey, man, it's COVID, bro. They, 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 COVID. They, they watching online, bro. You just say it's COVID. Yeah, bro, it's COVID, bro. You stupid dog. So you can do it. You gotta Wait, be doing what they gotta do right, with it again. What they gotta do with it? That's why there are only 10 people in the church, bro. Everybody else online watching them sending them money, bro. Dead. That's You're what right. it is, bro. You're right, though. You're right. He tapped in, bro. I guess. Got them bro. loyal subscribers, man. That's crazy. Yeah. I don't know though, man. I mean, hey, do it. Bro, you got the it Cartier works. shades, bro. In 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 the photo I just saw. Yeah, my boy, God, tell God, did that's your people, Marlon. They said, Get my people, yeah, that's your people, yeah. bro. That ain't my people, dog. That's, that's your people, people bro. People. That's your people, bro. Why it be my people, dog? Like Cause, bro. People. Nah, that's definitely your people, bro. Throwing mm-hmm. on the gold and shit. Damn, that's <laughs> fucked up, twin. <laughs> Miami, yeah, twin. I, twin, I had my feelings. That's fucked up. <laughs> But uh, so we got Cardi B. She pleads guilty to third degree assault uh, for a case back in 2018. She was caught throwing Dude. bottles and hiring a guy to beat up Offset's alleged mistress Jade and her friend Batty G. Cardi not only hired a man to attack the women, but she also she was also caught throwing bottles as well. She was facing up to 12 charges, two of which were felonies, harassment, criminal solicitation, conspiracy, and etc. So she pled guilty to third degree assault and reckless endangerment. So the other 10 charges were dismissed. Her punishment will be 15 days of community service. And since she pled guilty, the women now have the right to sue her, which could cost Cardi B millions of dollars. So my question to you guys is 15 days enough. That's that slap on the wrist. I mean, it's a slap on the wrist, but I guess at this point, I mean, if it makes the situation go away, fuck it, I guess. Yeah, it ain't gonna go away because those girls they know they go, make the situation go away. <laughs> it ain't gonna go away because now if they have the opportunity to sue her, they gonna get that because they know she can pay. You a hope? You a hope? They be cool. They're Cardi not gonna be cool. You a hope? They ain't gonna be cool. What? They better sue her. Ass. These bro, girls want to come true. up, bro. They don't care any any way they can, bro. Bro, they better sue her ass. This ain't no come up, bro. She just tried to hire a nigga to beat their ass. That is true. What the fuck is we talking about, bro? That, that is very true. This ain't no Nick, come got, up, dog. She hired a hit. It is a come up. <laughs> no, it's you, not, you know, bro. Through. That's yes, justification. It is, bro. It's gonna come back this up with justice. the red, bro. This is justice, bro. <laughs> they don't care about no justice. They was ready to yes, fight, they do, bro. They was ready to fight too, bro. Nah, bro. They she charging at them, bro. She was trying to fight them. It's all good. It's a come up. They said, all right, cool. You acting stupid. Give me that bread, bro. That's straight up a come up, bro. They got it. They didn't get hurt. Did they get hurt? I don't know. 
They ain't getting I'm hurt, sure they bro. did. I'm sure they okay. did for this hey. to still be a bro, lingering it case, bro. 20, it is 2022. It's happened in 2018, bro. They good now? Come bro, on. Nah, you, bro, you can't say that, bro. You can't I can. Say that. that definitely is, bro. You're not a they, woman, dog. You're not a woman. Why are you they, making this? They hired a dude to beat okay. their ass. She hired okay. a guy to beat their ass. Do you not understand? I'm missing. That? I'm missing when you're like, oh yeah, it's a girl. I don't care about that. It's a come up in the end. She good. Bro, they don't, don't get bread bro, in the end. If bro. you had beef with one person, yeah, and somebody else is coming to beat your ass, you telling <laughs> yeah. me that it's a come up if you sue them. <laughs> Yeah, that's bro, what you're telling me you, you're coming up you're coming up if you sue him that means you're okay bro you're coming up if you sue him if I, if i'm suing a cardi yes yes how if they hire somebody to beat your ass bro you don't care about that part then we don't get that ignore shit, that part. I'm that. okay. Why are you okay, ignoring bro. that? That's the facts. Ignore that don't, part. Don't, I know that. that's what I'm suing about. That's what I'm suing about. I got they this. Man, he'll get that part. He ain't worried about that part. But I'm not worried about that part. I already I'm telling you. The whole I'm telling you, take away the Cardi B part. It could be a random nigga okay. that you have beef with. Okay. If he hires somebody okay. to beat your ass, you're going to sue him, right? Yes. Or you gonna take the L? I'm gonna sue him. All right, dude. It's not a and, come and, up, and take, and take my L. All oh, I'm saying, nah, bro. If it's someone a, come up. But it's not a come up, two, though. Two, L, two <laughs> L's make a W, bro. bro. Two L's make a W, bro. They got this. I'm done, bro. I'm done with this topic, bro, when you said that <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> I'm done with this topic, bro. But nah, bro. Like, bro, Why you be so quick like that, bro? <laughs> but nah, bro. 15 days of community service, that's just not enough for me. Bro, what I community mean, that's service is Cardi B going to be doing, bro? Right. <laughs> bro, <laughs> <laughs> sweeping. You going to be on the side of the highway? No, for she real. Gonna pick, she going to pick up trash, bro? What's she doing for community service, bro? Hey, man, this y'all queen, bro. This y'all queen. This queen. the same woman that y'all want. This the same woman that y'all want telling y'all who to vote for. Hey. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Let's Hold bring up. it back. Nah. It's the same woman. <laughs> same nah, woman bro. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Stand on that, bro. Stand on that. That's not my stand on that. Stand on that. I, you know, I got to stand on that because that definitely yeah. was a topic that we fully had, stood for, Mar. We can't get out of that. <laughs> we can't get away from that. I don't know that. Who you guarding? This is who y'all want representing y'all? This is who y'all want representing the black community? Sound like this Andrew is it. Tate, sir. Sound like this Tate, who sir. Fairly black. I mean, that's who y'all want, though. Don't hide your hand now. Don't hide your hand, bro. Don't hide, bro. Don't hide. <laughs> I don't think I want it, huh? I think I want it. I think I want it. The cat, I think bro. I want it. The cap. I don't think I would advocate for somebody else. What, what? But yeah, man, if, if I were those women, bro, I'd go ahead and sue her. Yeah. Um, just go ahead yeah. and milk that shit. Come on. Milk that shit. So the ops. It is what it is, man. I'm not gonna confess to what y'all said in the previous videos. Up? So we'll move on. Say that's a come up. Yeah. Well, you think it is a come up, bro? It is a come up, bro. No, 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 bro. Oh. I agree that it's a come up. It's definitely a come up because she's getting a lot of money out of it. But I'm just saying the principle of it is not a come up. It's, it's just justice. That's just justice at that point. Like justice, justice come up. Sure. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you know what? All right, man. This next one, I'm gonna just play mm-hmm. the video. I know I said I was gonna go. I know I said I was gonna stop being a daddy. I thought I said I would go to rehab. But I was just bullshitting, man! <laughs> Bobby Schmurder. Bro, was wait, laying what? in bed with the man. He was cold up, but I didn't see the face. Is that, was that a guy? See, that's the thing, like, that I was a that guy. Point. It was man, a guy. Man, can I say one point? I'm not gonna say he wasn't, but it was not enough face for me to be like, oh, that's a whole nigga right there. Like, I, he I, was, bro. I he like, was, bro. He was. <laughs> it was he like, was, bro. Uh, it's, it's like you see, it's like you see this part of my face. It was like, bro, I'm Marla, long stop, hair. Stop. I, I couldn't. Marla, I'm not. Stop. His thing. His thing. His thing. His thing. I 100% agree. That had to be a nigga. That I'm saying. That's <laughs> 
I'm, I'm saying that the first couple of times. Yeah. I kept looking at it. I kept trying to see the goat. I want to see a goatee or some shit. I was like, damn. Man, you look for a shit. goatee? He wildin'. He I said, look at my goatee. Or something. Or something. I was like, I don't see nothing, bro. I was Nigga, like, you saw that hairline? That ain't no woman's yeah. hairline, bro. That could have been that hairline. Bro, nah, bro. <laughs> Look, we're, at point, we're at the point where Bobby can't drop an album, so he got to do anything to stay relevant. That's what you think this top. is, bro? I think it is. I think Whoa! It is. Mm-hmm. I think it is. Because people already been saying, yo, Bobby a little sweet, bro. He be moving them hips in the videos. He be doing stuff. So, you know, I feel like he had to feed into it. You know what I mean? I don't um, know about that though, bro. Bro, know. is Bobby gonna is Bobby Smyrna gonna drop an album? I don't he know. Might. I don't. I don't really think we care anymore, bro. I don't right? think we nobody cared cares. for years. Yeah, he, like since he got we, out, he, we we saw him when he came out. He had music, woo, 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 right? It was cool. Mm-hmm. It was a little. It was a time. Ain't it nobody looking cult, for Bobby man. now. Ain't it nobody fact. looking for Bobby. Bro, you sleeping with niggas ain't gonna be listening to you more. It's gonna make you like talk. definitely not listening to him. And they're gonna be talking. They're gonna be like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be like, yeah, I'm like, bro, I knew it. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I knew it. it. You, nah, bro. So man. then the nigga that's in the video, he came out. Mm-hmm. Um, his name is Xavier Raza. So he came out and said, yeah, that was him in the video. And then he later apologized about that. He later apologized, saying, you know, he didn't want to cause any bullying because he understands what it means to be. In the LGBT, so, um, bro, this is not, I don't think this really? is a, yeah, bro, I don't think this is a marketing scheme or anything, bro. I think he really Yo. just came out in that video, bro. Bobby's weird, bro. Bobby's wild, bro. Like I said oh, the other episode, it. bro, he like dog, like the way the nigga be dancing and shit and all that, he be moving around and shit like that, bro. So, hey, it's just another rapper. Why post? If you're doing that shit, doing that shit, why post it? It's so weird. The attention. Oh my god, that is. You get t- that don't get you no attention though. Like, ugh. yeah, from the other side. Yo, that was side. a dude. It was a dude, bro. Wow, I am a murder, bro. That's why you don't go to jail, bro. That's why that other episode you was like, oh, this and that. If we went to jail, nah, bro. I'm not going Who? to jail. Bro. Who? Marley, Marley. something about Marley. That. Like, oh, nah, not bro. me. Don't put it on me, yeah, nigga. bro. Like, I'm telling you, niggas change when they come out, bro. Yo, that's changing, crazy, bro. bro. Yeah, bro. My man was laid up in bed with my boy, smoking the straight pack, bro. Like Marley bro. said, why would you, you post like this? Like that, bro. Why would you post that? I don't know. Yeah. Why would you post? Yeah, but, man. That's. <laughs> These niggas weird now. Damn, uh, they weird, bro. <laughs> bro, I don't know. See, it's like certain words you try not to use for it, but it's like, yeah. bro, yeah, why you time. don't nobody look? I could have went my whole life not knowing this. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like people be trying to over show and over like sell this side. Like let people like you know have the allure that Bobby might be gay. But come yeah. on, bro. I don't need to know that yeah. you're in bed with this dude. And then the other dude over here really telling him, like, damn. Yeah. This nigga hurt. Bro, that cloud is a drug, bro. I feel like it's not really, just, it's not our business, bro. Listen, well, this, this gonna sound really, this gonna sound really yeah. messed up. Why yeah. everybody gotta, gotta, gotta go gay? Why like the extreme point is going gay? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, like the artist, like, I'll be on drugs, I'll be drug addicted. I'm I'm a street nigga, or I or, or I'm just gambling alone. Like I just like, why well, that thing, bro? Or, like it, it be free stuff. Nah, I want you to really sit here and think about it. It be the niggas who be on drugs. It be the niggas who get who fuck who be getting fucked with the police. It be the niggas who street niggas, and they be the niggas who oh I'm gonna keep gay on the low. Like, but I don't want to. It's a rabbit hole like, we can go down, but I, I ain't gonna like go down that, that shit, like, though, bro. I, I ain't gonna go down that shit. Rashad. Line of rap. I don't I don't like how because if you are you are right but I don't like how rappers play into that stereotype and that become almost a personality trait. I don't like that. Is it a stereotype? It, it's like a personality trait. It, they try they try to play with it a lot and I feel like what personality trait that, are you speaking on? I just feel like and maybe it isn't like it 
don't know, but I just see like the, the, the themes that musicians try to like present all seem mm-hmm. the exact same. I feel like you only fall, you fall into only so many boxes. And I feel like oh, that's yeah. one of the themes in recent years that you see popping up more commonly. And granted, is that what you is and not what you're doing? You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that. But I just don't like how it's always presented, how it's always such a big shock. Like it's almost like, oh my God, he's gay. It's like, he probably get all the time. Think about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, it, then, then y'all be the biggest fans of these people. But then when y'all find out like that this is their this is who they are. Yeah, I be acting like, oh God, I can never, I can never fuck with this nigga shit again. It's I like, think it's me. more the fact that it's like, yo, come in on what you own, bro. Come as you no, are, like, like, like for real, like, and like fight, me. fight with me, fight us to make us like but you, you know, I guess, you or whatever. Music if you knew who he was. That shit, and that's, that's true. That's true because that was the time back then. Back then, you couldn't just come out as gay. You couldn't do that. I was saying, but now you can do that. To be honest, would you well, listen to Isaiah whatever. Rashad the same way? The same way if he came out and said he was gay. Again, when he came out, that was a different time. Back in 2012, 2013, you couldn't do that, bro. Like nobody's gonna. He wasn't coming to in shit. like, yeah, I'm gay. Like that yeah, wasn't. No, it. I don't even uh, think he was but, gonna get a deal, bro. He wasn't even gonna get a record deal coming in like that. But now yeah. it's different. Now you got your saucy Santanas of the world, bro. Like you come out, it don't bro, really saucy, matter. Saucy got a cult following of people, bro. I think it's now weird. it might be like a sense of liberation for those rappers to come out now because, it. yeah, they, they kind of been portraying somebody else that they actually aren't. You got to think about it. Like Bobby Schmurder, he's probably one of the most gangster, <clears throat> hardest I rappers. I mean, yeah, technically, right? technically yeah, he is, you know, technically he is. He caught a body, so. He did. Let's not act like he did. <laughs> Let's not act like he did. Like, you know he, he been through some stuff. He, he done seen stuff. Yeah. So uh, based off that, you would kind of look at him as like a super masculine, rough guy. But as we can see, he's very flamboyant, you know, and he He likes the other side. So it's going to be more rappers that's coming out because Mm. this is the time of the LGBT. We are in the LGBT era. This is just what it is. So, you know, Mm. I feel like it's not really that much of a damn announcement. Like, bro, I really don't care. Do what you do. You know, sleep with who you sleep with. That shit ain't mm-hmm. got nothing to do with me. It goes back to what I said previously. We care too much about celebrities and what they do. That shit and, really don't have no bearing what... on us. Facts. So, hey. Hey, we lost another one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Hey, yo, now we lost another one. No, that's it. That's... <laughs> yeah, going to hey, this side. is all jokes, all jokes, all jokes. This is not no, you know, no, hate no. or whatever. No, no, hate. People hey, Bobby, do what you do, bro. But, damn. But damn, yeah, Bobby. Bobby yeah, now nah, they are. But anyway, moving on. So we got August Alcina. He claims that Tory Lanez and his security assaulted him because he refused to dap him up. So I got a video to show y'all. <laughs> Hey, I wish you would have got that. I did get it. Damn. Don't do it. You already shot Maggie. You knocked his ass out, Tori. You knocked him out. Tori said he just knocked all his ass out. See the ass right out. One punch crunched him, Tori. He said one punch crunched his ass out. Tori said one punch crunched his ass. Look up. Look up. He's quick at first. Tori said he just did that. Tori said He's like a little gremlin. I think it's no, for real, real, bro. He's just a little, little gremlin. He's just running yeah, around goblin. doing stuff. I think it's a, a goblin, goblin, bro. That nigga's evil, bro. Man like, always I, got problems, bro. bro how like, the five nigga got so much power, bro? That nigga's scary, bro. Dead ass, bro. He always beating somebody ass, bro. Pound for pound. Bro. This nigga is great. Pound for pound, Man, dog. Come on, bro. <laughs> that junk is too... This nigga a little Floyd Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? Like... Uh, so I couldn't be a rapper. I just jump. I probably just jump just cause. Y'all saw when he fought um, YK Osiris. Oh. 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 No, I didn't. 
That's oh, he crazy. beat his ass, bro. That shit was funny, bro. <laughs> Nobody, I remember back in the day, he pressed Travis Scott in the back of the day. I tweeted, I said, yo, my nigga, you a legend for making your song at the end of the day. Nigga said I sound like something, my nigga. I said what I said. If, 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 if you felt a way and you want to handle it the way you want to handle it. That's why we're here right now. So, so, so I'm saying, saying, what do you want to do, bro? My, my, you wanna do? No, 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 no. Are we, are we apologizing or are you, are, are you, you want to shoot the fate, my niggas? I'm just trying. We can, Yo. everybody can get out of here. Every single person can get out of here. No, 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 Literally, every person can get out of here and we can shoot the fate, my nigga. No, everybody get out of here. Niggas fight. Everybody just get out of here, my nigga. Let's just shoot the fate. Yo, does it seem like you're just trying to come at me, my nigga? I'm not for that, my nigga. I'm not for that, my nigga. I'm not for that, We can shoot the fate right now. Not that. Not that. Not that. man to man. It's a man to man, bro. I understand. It's, it's, the, it's, the way, it's the way the nigga came on. Yo, yo let me holla at you, my nigga. Ah, 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 ah. It's like I understand what you're trying to do. But yo, my nigga, I need to be a man about this bro. Yes, bro. Damn. That's crazy, bro. Was he like, on like Travis Torbus, bro? Yeah, he oppressed the Travis, bro, like dead ass, bro. Travis just has a look at him. Like, mm-hmm. like That's bro. crazy, bro. That nigga is five, six terrorizing people. Come on, dog. <laughs> no, so uh, basically the history of it was that um, when August Alcina was with Jada Pickett, Tory had yeah. something to say about it, basically saying that if he was August, he wouldn't, what's the word I'm looking for? He wouldn't uh, snitch on her. So, Are you hey. remember that? Do you remember that time? Yeah. Where we found out that August was really with Jada? Mm-hmm. Bruh. And Will just sitting there. And now look at the world. Will Smith blackballed. Man. This, this freaking suck. <laughs> but it's just like, why are you trying to dap this man up, though, bro? Y'all not cool. Because <laughs> Tory like problems. Not friends, bro. Because <laughs> Tory like problems, bro. Tory got that <laughs> short man syndrome for real, bro. You, got you that heard that girl in the background? You already shot Meg. <laughs> <laughs> Did yo, that's Dude. crazy. Hey, that's the most dangerous short man alive, bro. That nigga, hey, he be by the action. That's toxic, bro. bro. Did he shoot Meg? That's toxic. He, he definitely did. You think he did, bro? He did. He. Dog, I'm telling he you, bro. Damn, bro. I thought you said he didn't, bro. He didn't. He did. well, this no, nigga no, be no, switching no, sides. No, <laughs> this nigga no, be bro, switching cause, sides. Because every time we'll have a topic and, and then we'll have some time in between that shit, you'll be home and they'll be like, he might have shot that bitch. <laughs> Yo, Damn. Like, like, sometimes you be like, you really think about it like, and then you see, I be trying I mean, to figure it out, bro. I be trying to listen to the like, Megan then, lyrics, like, to the Tory bro, lyrics, to be he like, "Rises people, bro." Like I can believe he shot her now. Like I believe, I can really believe it. Nah, I yeah, shoot no your ass off an album by, by how I didn't shoot your ass. I wish I could been on. I could be on the jury. Did that case, smiling. bro? Who you be smiling, bro? He said you be smiling too much. Bro, <laughs> bro like, <laughs> what you trying to say, bro? What you trying to say? He be smiling too much, bro. What you trying to say? If I saw him, if I saw him understand, I'm be worried. I'll be worried. <laughs> <laughs> he like, I don't know why he's bringing you worried, but his boobie, he like, he like sit like, there, real man, and all. Much. I'm be like, he know too much. The glasses gonna tell me he know too much. I'm like, oh nah, dog. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Who you vote for, bro? If you was in the jury, bro. Bro, I'm gonna be the one person in the jury. Like, nah, he ain't do it. Damn. Damn. Like, but all the evidence, he ain't do it. Ain't no. Man, he ain't had no explanation. He's he like, he didn't do it. <laughs> no, nah, bro. I'm telling you, that's gonna be a crazy court case, bro. When we finally get to see it, what? Uh, by the time I share, I'm gonna have me kids. Witnesses like, yeah. are gonna be August Alcina. He gonna pull up. Mm. Like they, like they gonna they building the case right now, bro. They're like, hey man, you just assaulted this guy. You fighting? Huh. He tripping, man. He tripping. So August, he uh he posted the pictures of his injuries and everything. I just feel like. Tory man, what was, August, what was August security doing? Sure, I don't think he had security with him. As you that when you was video. walking by, he had some, some security. I don't think he had anybody. With I'm him, like, how, how you going? How you going to hit that man? And your security ain't back you up, bro. I didn't see anybody walking with him. Let me be honest with you. I thought I saw that was the two people in front of him. Oh no, nah, I didn't see that. Right. He seemed like he don't even have security. He seemed like the type that wouldn't have it. That's crazy. I mean, Tory. I mean, the case is coming, bro. What are you yeah. doing? 
What are you doing, bro? Well, he won't. I guess you want to go won't. to jail. He's this is the culture, man. Shoot. This is the culture, bro. We're going to yes, see this is. time and time again, bro. We're going to see these rappers. They're going to want to go to jail for no reason, bro, at this point. Like, why are you fighting this dude? Because he didn't dap you up. Take the L and move on, bro. Now, if he pressed charges, oh, that's your ass. Fuck the Megan case. Dip me. Fuck the Megan case. Dip me up. You know? So, I mean, hey. That's your man's, though, Marla. That's your man's. Hey, my man's, dog. Yes, it is, bro. You like that man music, bro. I do. I'm a, I'm a big supporter of his music, but just sometimes you got to separate the music from the person, bro. That mm. nigga's a terrorist. That nigga's a little terrorist, bro. He's a terrorist. <laughs> that nigga caused too many problems for me to be like, oh, that's my man. It's like, no. Damn. He's scaring mm. the hoes. I can't deny that nigga. He's scaring the hoes. Nigga, what, what, what I'm going to do about that? Shit, mm-hmm. is he? Yeah. I don't think so, bro. Oh, the whole like so. scared. Shit. All right, y'all. Let's move on. So a TikToker speaks against liking pictures while in a relationship. So before we get bro. into the video, what is y'all opinion on that? Bro, I'm gonna <laughs> like my photos, bro. I'm gonna like, double tap it. Bro, it's a this, bro. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, bro. Like, like, like the fucking picture, bro. Nah, man. Like, you remember when Instagram used to show people what you like? There was like a category. Yes. On IG, right? And I remember having an ex confront me about liking some shit. And I was like, what? You're actually paying attention to that? What I'm liking? Mm. Chill out. That's just weird, bro. It don't even matter. And why does it matter? Honestly, it doesn't. Up. I'm just going to like it because it's just. So y'all don't care who she likes, right? Y'all don't care what picture no. she likes. Not really. Not really. Okay. What do you mean, not really? I don't care. Because I feel like, okay, for example, Twitter does the same thing. You can see what, what your people like on Twitter, right? But mm-hmm. I feel like as long as they don't get to a disrespectful level where, I, where I'm reading tweets of you, you being real blatant and shit, I mean, I don't care. It don't matter to me. It's just well, tweets are, tweets are also a different thing, though. Tweets be like, you liking what people are saying. So it means in some no, sense you like, agree to like, that. Like, I, I, imagine, imagine you find if you see a girl like a tweet that's talking about damn bro, I, 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 I want to fuck me a fine bitch right now, and she like and she like in a tweet, and, and you like, what, bitch, why the fuck you liking this damn tweet for? Like it's just, it's like it's weird shit, and if anything, it can get way weirder on Twitter than, than Instagram. To be honest, you know, Twitter, Twitter, because Twitter just gets to a whole different level of the weird shit. Like, Twitter. so let's make this interesting. Let's make okay. this interesting. So. Let's say she started liking your friend story pictures. Y'all cool with mm-hmm. that? She put yeah, a little she started like that. She started liking all your story pictures of me. Me, you gonna have to fight. <laughs> and she gonna know why. Story pictures oh, is yeah. going out of your way to like yeah, some stuff. Yeah, yeah but she just liking it though, bro. She just like it. I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell you. So you don't follow Ben? Can you unfollow Ben? Hell no. Like that, me. <laughs> so you would have a problem with that. Yeah, cause cause it's like why though? Know? It's like you, you mm. don't fuck, I know you don't fuck with him that damn much. So why you fuck with him on Instagram that much? That's weird. Mm. Bro. No, it's I don't care. Well, if Marlon it's, says limits to the disrespect. But I just live because it's, it's on a personal level. It's kind of like, bro, why are you liking Miss? Why are you liking our neighbors' pictures that damn much, nigga? You, you are a fucking weirdo. Like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> it's like, bro, it's like, what, Rasan, why are you liking your coworkers' pictures that damn much? Your girlfriend might know about this. What are you doing? Like, it's, it's, that, that, I don't know. It's like, okay, leave it. That's the script, right? But even then, you know when you know when it's too far. You know when it's kind of like. Mm. When you're touching that realm, yeah. I'm not checking the likes either, though. So it's like I don't really care. Yeah, I understand. All right, let's see I what this is. Ben, what about you? Uh, me, I really don't give a fuck. You know like what I'm saying? Like, like, if you checking, if you checking the likes, you trying to get your friends hurt. Like, why? Because I mean, <laughs> checking the likes. Yeah, I'm not gonna police you, and I'm not gonna tell you what to do with your phone. Like, that's just a little weird to me. You gonna mm-hmm. like the shit regardless if I'm there or not. So. As long yeah. as she respects me, that's all that matters, bro. Can you do a video on if liking pics in a relationship is bad or not? I don't play that motherfucking shit, and I'm going to tell you why. Usually when people liking pics, what, they, what are they doing? Signaling other people that they are interested. That is common 
fucking sense. I don't get why I have to go over that with people, but I guess. Also, I know how people are whenever other people are liking other people's pictures that are in relationships. Prime example, I'm big on representation, so I'm not finna be liking no other girl picture so other girls can be like, oh, you see, uh, look who in my likes. Ain't, ain't he with such and such? I don't want people to have that one up on my girl and vice versa because dudes, whenever girls like our pictures, they got boyfriends. What are we thinking? Hey, don't she, ain't she with that one dude? Ain't she with that one dude? And some of y'all probably argue, oh, it's not that big of a deal. It's just a simple like. And I may argue, if it's not that big of a deal, just stop doing it. You get what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, y'all ain't got to be in no fucking relationship with me. You know what I'm saying? So I don't do that shit. I don't like that shit. I'm not going to be liking other girls' pictures so other girls can feel like, oh, yeah, look, look who in my likes and vice versa. So to kill all that shit, just don't like pictures. But y'all do whatever the fuck y'all want, and I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want. If you don't like it, I don't know what to fucking tell you. Oh, my mama. Yeah, yeah, man, liking pictures. Yeah, man, I got me some motherfucking liking chains. Everybody like no motherfucking pictures. So what y'all think about what he said? Oh, corny. That's corny as fuck. That man I said, I ain't taking a picture. She's gonna have one up on my girl. Like, the whole take is corny as fuck. Because, like, bro, this, it doesn't matter, bro. It's too, you're thinking too deeply about this shit. Like, you're, yes. you're signaling others to let them know that you like. Bro, sometimes I used to just like a photo, just like it. I don't care. Is there any truth to that, though? Is there any truth to the fact that sometimes you could like a picture and be interested in that person? Yeah, yeah so there's no, a way yeah, of how you like. Time, I don't mm-hmm. know if that makes sense. Like, you can like double tap and like and leave a comment, and then it might mean like, oh, okay, he watch yeah, it. But I just like your photo. It don't matter that much. Man. I mean, people don't really leave comments as much anymore. But like I said, let's say your girl likes five pictures from a guy. Yeah. Then it's like, okay, all in a row. All in a row. He said, he said, hold on, what? There's like, what the fuck you doing? <laughs> she like five pictures in, in like a row. Like she went to yeah, the profile like and said, yeah, then that's an alert. That's an alert to let alert. you know I'm watching you. Mm. It's a, that's, and then that's, what? And then, then, then that's like a conversation, mm. but also like, I don't know that you did it unless like I'm like really going through your likes. But for real, like liking five photos in a row automatically means that you in somewhat either want to talk or there's like some type of interest. Yeah, in mm-hmm. you, you know what I mean. Like, you know how people used to like you follow me to all, all their photos. That don't really mean nothing. Like when you first follow, but like if every time they post, you like really watching them, you like doing whatever. Yeah, hmm. yeah. It, it's a uh, it's a it's a signal, like the bat signal. Yeah, let you know. I feel I'm like watching. man, it's twenty twenty two. Girls gonna be mm-hmm. on their phone. Yeah. It just it is what it is, man. It is mm-hmm. what it is. You know, who who's more addicted to their phone? Girls or, or niggas? Um, I feel like girls. I feel like I don't, like know, girls, I don't really know how to even answer that question. I really don't know. I feel like and as a nigga who's been in some relationships, I, relationships, I feel like girls be addicted to addicted to technology. I don't I know like that, bro. Yeah. I, I don't know that. I don't know if I, I can know. say they're addicted to technology. Sometimes dudes be really deep in it too. I don't know how they are more addicted. Okay, I'm gonna I'm I'm phrase it that wrong. I feel like they, they be more addicted to their phone. I feel like girls be on their phone all at a more higher rate. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know how you getting that. Like, where you Vincent getting that? I'm, I'm, I'm statistics. I'm gonna tell you something I noticed, bro. Like, they just, I'm just saying, niggas be on their phone a lot. Probably more than women just because they're not even as social as women are. Yeah. I'm just saying. It's hard to even answer that question. Go for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you, sir. All right, y'all. So we got NLE Chopper. He breaks yep. up with his girl and uh she cries a lot. So we're gonna get into that video. I can't tell y'all how hard it is for me to sleep. Or how hard it is for me to get up and face reality because this was not my reality a week ago to sign up for you gotta stick with if i'm caught up if i'm if if me if me or you say if i tell you i'm a cheat or whatever and you say i'm cool with that as long as you take her home and which i do i take her home make sure you're right physically mentally emotionally spiritually um 
everything. Make sure I'm hands on with everything. But the littlest bit of peace where I want to do is where I do my dirt at. Because I let you know that and you and you approved of it, you signed up for it, you said it was cool. And once I do it, I don't get the peace of mind to do it. I don't feel free. And I don't feel I don't feel free to who I am as a person. And a lot of people will say, Oh, you broke up with a or you broke up with it because you wanted to fuck other bitches. That's wrong. I mean, nah, it, it, and it doesn't even just stops right there. It's just the basic sense of freedom. Now, he ain't wrong for breaking up with her. No, no. Like, and if you, if her as a girl agrees to knowing, yeah, he gonna be cheating, he gonna be doing these things, why are you banking so hard on him? You knew what he was on. At any moment, this reality that you're crying about could be over my man said he's you know, i want to go mess with the girls i want to keep like you can keep home cool and over it bro man you just want to be in the streets that's what you said he wants to enjoy hmm. how old is an ellie like, 19 right 19 and she 27 you know what i mean right. my man can't even what legally drink alcohol like there's certain things they come on now you letting a nineteen year old break your heart because he got money. That's really it. That's really it because he got the money. It's like, bro, what the fuck? He's a rapper at this point. It's like, are you really surprised? To be honest, are, are we really surprised? Like, like y'all girls get rappers every damn day. Are y'all really surprised the rappers cheating on you? I I can get a million bitches at, at my disposal. You think that you gonna matter that much when I can get any bitch right now? And look, maybe down the road he'll be like. He'll feel some type of way, like, oh man, I wish I never did that to her. But bro, Cap. my man living straight in the moment. You know what he I mean? Not, he good, bro. He he not, because, bro, he was honest with her. He told her from the he beginning, was. look, this is what okay. I do. Then this nigga's 19. Yeah. Come on, bro. Like, yeah, he gonna be 19. fucking with other women. He not even fucking 25 yet. You 27. Yeah. Why are you dealing with a 19 year old? Do y'all think that she would be dealing with him if he didn't have that money? No. Be for real. Like, what are we talking about? She not crying because she lost NLE Chopper. She crying because she lost NLE Chopper. Damn. Yeah. yeah. It's a difference, bro. Bro, we got to stop this shit, bro. Like, this mm -hmm. shit is crazy. You sit up here crying like like we supposed to feel sorry for you, bro. We like, not feel sorry for you, bro. Y'all wasn't in love, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. She like, was in love with the, with the bad, bro. This nigga, I didn't know he was so that young, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, bro, these bitches only be only be in love with the bag. They don't never love your ass, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro. She crying because she got to go back to these regular niggas. That's why she crying. I'm 19. I'm 19. Bro, you 27, bitch. I got years. 19. 19, bro. Bro, this little nigga is 19. Is 20. <laughs> Like, bro, what? <laughs> Young boy is 22. Damn. He was like 15 or some shit. It only started when he was a regular teenager for real. That's crazy, bro. NLE is. He on I don't like know. Like, I, I, for some reason, I was watching, I think he did a black like, interview recently yeah. where he was talking about like the baby mama drama he was having because he got like how many kids? Like three or whatever. Oh, Yo, man. he has a couple kids talking about he got he got locked up. Cause baby mama said that he got the house shot up with the kid inside. I'm like, yo, how old is this man, bro? What type of street shit you still in, bro? But now I'm thinking up. about it, he's 19, so he's probably still into the BS yeah, street shit. That's randomly. crazy. This is a kid, bro. This is a kid, <laughs> and she really thought that he was gonna be serious and monogamous as a rapper. As a 19 year old rapper. 19 like out of here. And I can see if he never said anything, if he just tried to, you know, go with the flow. But he told her, like, look, this is what I'm into. This is what I'm doing. She was cool with it. So mm -hmm. as long it's as what it is. Bag in the end. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, did she? Care at home. What's home, baby? It, uh, it ain't you. Crazy as hell. But yeah, mm -hmm. man. Another day, bro. Another day. All right, moving another on. Day. So um uh, RIP to PNB Rock, man. RIP to PNB Rock. You know, he was killed at the restaurant Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Um, so I, I want to say this. I want to say this. Yeah. I was not an avid listener of PNB Rock. And we, no, 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 no. Like, I've listened to him before when he was, like, actually, like, kind of big. And, like, people knew 
who he was, right? I'm not going to sit here and be like, man, he was one of the best artists of our time. And not going to pull the Apple Music stunt. Like, Apple Music been pushing this man's stuff forever. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But we got some stuff to learn from this situation, for real. Yeah. We do. We do. This is... You got to remember, yo, when you get money, you got to move differently, man. And you got to move differently with the people around you, bro. I don't know. I don't I don't know the, if it's true that the girl set him up or all these things. But, you know, these these rappers and people be moving like they're untouchable, bro. You know what I mean? And, and you can't do common people things like an average person. Not saying PNB was the biggest person in the world. You know what I mean? And he might be able to walk into places and people not know who he is exactly, right? Yeah. But bro, if if people who really into this robbing, snatching, stealing life, they know who the people is. They gonna be watching people pockets for they real. Waiting. So you gotta move carefully, yeah. even if you don't think you're the biggest artist. So that don't just crazy, bro. He just randomly killed this man. Come on, bro. He probably was into stuff. I'm not gonna say he was perfect either. But dang. Before we even Nothing get on just him, man, let's let's talk about his girl though. Yeah. Because she did post the location while they're there. Yeah. You couldn't, couldn't wait till y'all too. left. He did too, technically. Did he? Mm. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think he posted. He made a post and she made a post, but he made a post before she did. But did he post the location though, bro? No, she did. That's what I'm saying, bro. Why the fuck mm. would she do that? And it's not like this is a new girlfriend. This is a girlfriend that he's had for years and she knows about his history. Yeah. People don't know that PNB is kind of, I don't want to say he was like about that street life, but he was kind of in there. Mm. Yeah, one foot in, one foot out. So yeah. it's not like he didn't have any ops. He had ops. She knew that. Yeah. But you go on and post the location while y'all are there. What the fuck do you think is going to happen in LA? You know, Bro, how many rappers have we lost in L.A. alone? We're not even talking about the mm-hmm. United States, just L.A. We can go down the list. It just keeps going. This is, I believe, rapper number, what? I want to say, how many people did we lose? We lost XX. We lost mm-hmm. Pop Smoke. Yeah. We lost Nipsey. And Man, why did we not learn from Pop Smoke? We lost like, King Von. Literally? I Trouble. can't stress enough. Why did Young we dog. not learn from Pop? Because people don't learn, bro. Like, come on, bro. We know how Pop Smoke got set up. We know. Or how he was found. Like, bro, these people oh, are ready. devious, bro. Like, come on, man. And it's kind of hard yeah. for me to just ignore the fact that she did post it. Like, why yeah. are you doing that? Yeah. I got a video to show y'all. So I'm like, man, we out of here. You feel me? Like, we gone. My girl, like, no, nah, we ain't. I'm like, I'm just going off of the vibes. Like, we out. Is, is she peeping the energy? Because I'm not sure you on point. It. Yeah, she ain't peeping. She was yeah, thinking I'm tripping. About women sometimes, she be thinking yeah. I'm tripping. So, you know, mix all this. I'm like, no, nah, we out. So she peeped it. I'm serious. She's like, no, nah, we out. We drive probably like two blocks on the street. She thinking this shit a game. She pulled over somewhere else. Like, oh, I wanted to go to this door right here. And then in a mix of me, like telling her like where the park at, it's like somebody just came fast as shit and took the parking spot, like the same spot that we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, dude, they must have been following me or something, bro. How the fuck this car get behind me this fast? Like I ain't even look. I look back, and that shit was there quick as shit. And then when I walked past, like the car bombed out, like this shit tended to the max. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm getting all this heat coming from the car though. Like I'm feeling the energy coming from that car. I'm like, damn, what the fuck? Who that car? Like you know, some other shit. I ain't going to the store for two seconds. The same people come from out the car and hop in the store, hype and shit. That's people in the signs. Should have stayed inside, bro. These boys watching. But you notice what she was saying, though. Mm -hmm. You notice how she was trying to push him a certain direction. Yeah, she was set up. It's just like people got to watch who they hang around, man. You yeah. got to watch who you hang around. And honestly, bro, I'm getting kind of sick of this shit because it's like, again, this is the culture. He had the mm-hmm. money, he had the fame, but he's still trying to be that nigga. 
in the streets. You're not in the streets anymore, bro. And the streets is going to eat you alive. They do it every single time. Yeah. I don't know why I was talking to my sister about this. I don't know what it is, but it's like there's this, this pocket of people in the mm-hmm. Black community that just want to kill you when you make it. They want to mm-hmm. take you out so quick. So, bro, it's just like, you got to play it smart, man. You got to play it smart. Yeah. You got to play yeah. it smart. And for that to be his girlfriend doing that, that's yeah. weird, man. That's weird. That makes me look at her differently. So you're not thinking about his safety at all, not even a little bit. That's not crossing your mind a little bit. I'm happy to post some shit. Yeah, like you hanging with a rapper and this is not like Lupe Fiasco. You know, this is not somebody that doesn't have any ops on them. This is a person that's you're not, in, with, you're not with Chance the Rapper. Like, come on, they got even got Chance the more. Rapper. He might have a target on his back too. I ain't even gonna cap. Really? Have, yeah, bro. Sorry, Chance. Yeah. You need too many people. Rapper. Yeah, it's too many people that know about Chance, bro. I think they'll probably do something. But no, you're right. It's just, it's sad, man. How many rappers we gotta lose, bro? Everyone. Have y'all heard about the conspiracy of uh the record label? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where they all yeah, just bro. take out the life insurance policies and they're just letting it go. Yeah, bro. They do it. They're basically setting them up on purpose just to get like the money that. real quick. If you look at the damn label, I'm gonna put mm-hmm. the picture up. Was it bro. Empire? Yes, bro. Yeah, yeah. The whole it's that whole like, roster gone. The H- Empire, bro. Empire is just distribution, bro. Yeah, but come on, dog. Why do y'all have five niggas gone? Off the label, Mo3, King Von, like I don't get that shit, bro. That's crazy. That's too many niggas that you're losing. Yeah, I saw that they had Kendrick Lamar on that shit too. Kendrick, it because Empire does distribution. Oh also. shit! You better watch your boy, bro. Bro, yo, <laughs> if Kendrick get folded up out here, bro, it, it it's just a sad day, bro. If Kendrick got caught lacking and uh, it's some people out there, bro, they don't care about their life. This is their life. This Killing is- a rapper is kind of like a bounty in a sense. Uh, uh, and Kendrick got killed. Bounty, we got to put Rob under the bed, bro. Bro, Kendrick get killed, bro. bro. Everybody got man. Oh, we got, we got, we got, Everybody got a what, bro? Everybody got that. But for real, bro. No, please. We all gonna be hurt. He gotta drop another good he has to drop a project, another project to redeem himself. I can't let him die yet. <laughs> no, my bad. I'm sorry. Damn, bro. Why are you saying it like that, bro? That's all he good for, bro. That's like the white fans, bro. Give me album. Damn. That's crazy, bro. No, I hope, no I hope bro. Not. When we do our end of the year like album listening list, yeah, y'all gonna be disappointed in me, bro. We already know. Um, yeah, we know you're gonna put that up there. It's gonna be on there. It's probably because you're not listening said, to enough albums. That's why it's on that list. I'm listening. Facts. Facts. <laughs> so sad. Because you would know it's not even. It's not even scratching the top ten, bro. It's, it's not, not scratching the top ten. I think I've listened to it too much just to try to figure out why it was so bad. But anyway, moving on. So we got Black Excellence. What are y'all Ooh. thoughts on Black Excellence? Uh, okay, L- let me lead. Um, I think Black Excellence is a good idea and concept, but I do mm-hmm. feel like it's ignorant as fuck. And I feel like there, there's not enough explanation to make Black Excellence make sense. I feel like we all believe in these holy ass ideas that honestly and truly we don't we don't we don't really believe in and we don't abide by i feel like black excellence is like a sacrifice i feel like black excellence is obtaining things that we don't necessarily as black people have and mm. i do feel like I feel like niggas nowadays miss the most important part about going to school getting certifications getting degrees like all that shit is not hard in my opinion i feel like we don't do that shit enough and I feel mm. like niggas be trying to like, go go on the internet and find the next get rich quick quick scheme, but when my niggas doing the crypto and niggas doing this and that, and niggas doing this and that, and like black excellence, I mean I get it, 
I, I get it's the bag chase. It's about stunting on niggas and showing how much you really getting and this and that. But I feel like we're not learning skills. We're not learning mm. foundational skills. We're not learning things that are going to provide generational wealth. I feel like we, we only follow trends. Mm. So I don't. Mm. That is you like a lot. Like, 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 like black excellence is following trends. I don't feel like black mm. excellence is actually, actually maintaining, maintaining employable skills. Damn, you said black that in turn, is a trend. In turn, give you the wealth that you desire. I don't feel like niggas are trying to aim for that. And the ones who do, which is a lot of them, they do it. But the ones who don't, you you know the ones that don't. Mm. What's your thoughts on the raw? Mm. Like excellence. I don't know. I don't know. Like truly. Mm-hmm. Bro, I I was I was I want to celebrate Kwanzaa this year, right? Yeah, right. I was like, all right, I'm gonna do Kwanzaa, whatever. And I'm looking at it and I'm understanding what they're trying to promote is like almost like black unity and everything else. And it's weird how it's not a holiday that's actually like promoted. You know what I mean? Because black culture is not promoting black excellence. Okay. You know what I mean? We've Break been talking it about the, we, we 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 talk about like, oh yeah, this the culture, killing, robbing, stealing, whatever. It's no real. I we're not even seeing what black excellence is. Mm. We don't have because because we have everybody who hates on them if they're doing good and they wanted to bring you down, so you don't ever get to hmm. see what excellence really looks like. You know. Like there's home ownership and stuff of that nature that can be considered black excellence, but we don't know what is excellent to us because we have nothing. Damn. That, you we know what I mean? We, like, it's, we ain't got no ex- true examples. We can we can try to say that yeah, this is excellence, we, we, but bro, we got examples. We got the like the black tech billionaires. We got the black real estate and finance and finance people who, who are making millions of dollars a year. Like we have numerous examples of, I guess you mm-hmm. could say, the celebrity who's who knows how to invest in in Bitcoin and things like that. Who know how to make a financial impact, but that's not what people are aspiring. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> Yeah, they're not exactly. aspiring to do those Nobody's things. Nobody's aspiring to be these people. Nobody's aspiring. Like I, I don't hear people talk about, oh, I want to go back. To, I want to go back to school to earn a certification. That's that's gonna help me help me in the future. People don't talk about that. The ones that do talk about that, they're not getting the push or the support to do that. So honestly, it's truly, if you if you're asking, like, there's no support. Like black excellence starts at home, and it's I feel like people don't get support. I feel like if you're not trying to be an athlete or a drug dealer or do something that, that's like the norm. I feel like people don't support that. I feel like you're not getting mm. enough of that. Even for example, even in what we're doing right now, in podcasting, like yeah, you see niggas doing it, but are people really supporting your podcasting? Are people are really mm. supporting? Because granted, podcasting we started in mm-hmm. we started podcasting at a time when podcasting wasn't even the trend yet, and now podcasting yeah. is the but are people really saying supporting your podcast? I mean, that we we see more content about people like talking shit about the podcast instead this of people supporting talking. the podcast. Talking now, saying, boy. <laughs> you talking black now? Excellence, black excellence starts at home, bro. Like you had the real deal. Like are people are people motivating you to go get a certification? Like I just want I really actually stuff because, like, bro, I'm just saying because you hear about niggas be niggas to getting the CDLs and shit. But I rather you be a C. I rather you be a nigga talking about. I'm gonna get me a CDL, and then nigga tell me I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go scan for this money, bro. Like, mm. so, like, bro, learn how to get a real marketable skill. I don't care what the fuck it is, but can you get paid a little wage with your skill? That's all I'm asking. If you don't do like, all that extra extracurricular shit, do that shit. But bro, please have a marketable skill. Times is changing, and your ass will be fucking broke thinking that shit you should see on social media is gonna it's gonna fill your pockets. For those who who, who could do it. Yeah, but bro, you a regular nigga. You can't do that shit. Come on now. Be real about that Damn. shit. Black yeah, excellence is classism. It's the new classism. Like, it's the way to divide us again. Even though we're already divided by skin tone and all that other shit. It's a way to oppress each other. It's a way to look down on each other. Oh, you ain't got this. Oh, you ain't got a degree. Oh, mm-hmm. you ain't got a nice job. You ain't got a car. You ain't got a house. You're not excellent. Mm-hmm. You're not doing what we're doing. You ain't making money. 
Oh, you got a couple thousand, but you ain't you ain't a millionaire though. Oh, you a millionaire, but you're not a billionaire though. Mm. You know? Oh, you got oh you got a nice house, but you ain't got no real estate. <laughs> it just keeps going. It's a never ending cycle. We don't really know, just like Ross point. We don't know what black excellent means. Mm -hmm. And just like Marlon's point, it's too many examples of things that aren't excellent. We're looking at celebrities and athletes. They stand for the outliers. They are a small minority. We can't keep using that to express the majority of people. Like, yeah. like excellence is not realistic. It's an idealism that doesn't reflect the people for real. I can't sit up there and say that you got to have a PhD, a big ass house, three cars, full family. You got to be married. You got to be faithful. You know, mm. you got to live a long life. You got to be healthy. You got to get in the gym. <laughs> what else? You got to have real estate. You got to have, yeah. uh, you got to have, have another, uh, yeah, you got to have a corporate job and then you got to have, then you, you got to be an entrepreneur. Right? It just keeps going and going, bro. You can live a happy life without having any of those things. You know what I right? Like, the, like people be people be aspiring for the the, the, the top one percent, baby. In, your, in this lifetime, you might not ever reach that. And you gotta be realistic yeah. with yourself to understand that black excellence is what you make it. It's about mm. aspiring for more. It's about wanting more. It's about trying to get to obtain more. Please don't want. Don't, please don't want to be an enigma or or the, the basic trend. You don't have to be the trend. Like even you can do what you want to do that makes you happy. But be realistic. Like that's that, I think black excellence is about being realistic and being more financially responsible with your assets. I think that's really what it is. Like it doesn't like, even speak for everybody. Because I, I let's be honest. If you fucking if you obese, can you be black and excellent? Damn. Based off what they say. Yeah. No. You know, if you if you are incel and you ain't got no wife, can you be black and excellent? Based off what I they mean, say. Incel. If, if you a nigga that work at a regular job, are you black excellent? I feel like they only talk about the celebrity. They don't ever talk about the nigga who's who who happy with his job and he working at Burger King and he he making just enough to pay his bills and he ain't stressing mm -hmm. like they don't never talk about the regular nigga because because if you ask me, that's black excellence too. Are you happy with your financial life? That's black excellence too. It's, it's whatever the fuck mm. you want. We don't got to aspire to the white model of excellence. Like, it don't got to be that. And one more thing I want to say is that black excellence is not rooted in blackness at all. It is not rooted in blackness at all. It is rooted in the exploitation of your people. It is rooted in systems that seek to exhaust you. It is rooted in systems that seek to destroy you. It is rooted in a system that literally made this country what it is off of your enslaved ancestors. And for me to align myself with a system that enslaved my people, took their people, took my people from their land, enslaved them, gave them nothing afterwards, right? Continue to oppress them, continue to oppress them today is absurd. It's crazy. It's crazy. So if black excellence requires me to be anti-black, then no. No, thank you. Thank you. I see what you're doing. I celebrate you, but I'm not interested. I'm not, I don't want to be a part of it. I'm not interested. If black excellence is exclusive, I don't want to be a part of it. If it leaves no room for all black folks, tall black folks, fat black folks, right? Queer black folks, like black women, you know what I'm saying? Dark skinned black women. If it leaves no room for these people, for poor people, for disabled people, if it leaves no room for these people, I don't want to be a part of it. I'm not. I feel that. Yeah. Because, 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 yeah, black excellence can feel like it's an exclusive thing, and we don't make it a obtainable thing for everyone to have their own version of excellence, especially within the black community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like you, like all every other culture has some like things that they can achieve and are have a goal for, yeah. and then you have black folk who just like, hey man, we get in where we fit in to make sure we fighting for this one spot in this one area you know what i mean mm -hmm. like you don't have like industries that are like focused for us or, or what we're trying to go for it's hey yeah i'm the only black person here because they let me in the door or uh, i, I can't get you in because i can't let other black folk in the door with me because mm. that's the only way i can be the only excellent thing in here and Marley even talked about the podcast, bro. The moment that this podcast takes off, that'll mm -hmm. be the moment that people we never met start supporting us. 
Yeah, because it's not gonna be the people that's around us. It's not gonna be the people that know us. They looking at us yeah. like, nah, they fuck know. that shit. I don't, I don't want them to take off. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, look at the accomplishment. We done. We done more than what most YouTubers did so far. You know what I'm saying? We've had reached. We've reached heights and had videos reach numbers that channels will only fucking die for. So at that point, shit, we gotta say at the point we 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 black excellence for even making it this far and achieve mm. what we already mm. achieved. Granted, we want more. We obviously want more, but shit, the excellence is even saying that hey, hey, it was a grind, and look what I achieved doing during this grind. Like yeah, trust man. me, <laughs> people, it's just too much jealousy, man. It's too much competition. It's too much jealousy. Like as long as everybody want to hold on. Mentality. Yeah, people just don't want to see you shine for real, man. It's sad. Yeah. It's sad. We learned that shit since elementary. We learned yeah. that shit since elementary. Guess what? You know the person that was in class that was doing all the bad shit. He got all the mm-hmm. attention and we started hating on him because he got all the attention. But the nigga that's doing the good, he getting the good grades. We don't give a fuck about him. That's what the, the niggas that does bad as fucking class and he did all that shit. Them niggas are working. They ain't doing shit right now. Them niggas ain't got no money. Them niggas are broke as fuck. But y'all niggas used to, used to, used to love them niggas. Those niggas I used to love in high school. But bro, them niggas ain't got nothing. Like, mm-hmm. bro. Damn, bro. I was yeah, one of them fun. niggas, bro. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> Chill, bro. Chill, hey, bro. You, bro. I'm just saying, though, like, bro, even back then, hey, like, niggas. bro. <laughs> Shut up. You wasn't one of them niggas. You know, you know the niggas we talking about. I really about, was, you. though, bro. I really was. You, man, you was one of them niggas. Man, I yeah, bro. Fuck. I was a bully, bro. <laughs> was a, I, nah, I was a bully, bro. Then I was Damn, bro. I'm fuck with you, dog. I, you, 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 nah, you would have, though. You would have, though, bro. We would have been cool, bro. Nah, cause mm-hmm. they, no, cause knowing you, me and you are probably bully niggas together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I was saying, but no. it's I feel like it's, it's where we make it. I just feel like we can't always then think of the one percent and think that's black excellence. We gotta like aspire to be our yeah. own version of black excellence. Facts, facts. <laughs> but speaking of black excellence, so we got Kanye West. Kanye Wait. West, he's actually been doing some positive things. He started a new school. And he also ended that deal with Gap. Sorry to interrupt. I just, while we have you, you know, we're, we're, we're showing the stock right now of Gap and Adidas. And they're, they're, Gap got hurt today on that news. And in general, it's been a struggling retailer. They lost the CEO, Sonia Singhal, the one who you, I believe, made the deal with to begin with, the overall business. You've always liked this company and you talked about how you had high hopes for, for the partnership. Do you think that Gap can ever sort of regain its cool again? And, and they only and be have, they only have one. Player? They only have one opportunity to be able to be a big player. What do you think it is? I feel like you're not happy with them today, so you're not going to be too optimistic. No, I'm saying they have one individual on the planet that could save the gap. And that individual, uh, I'm I'm asking you, who do you think it is? Sometimes the answer is sitting right in front of you. (laughs) Well, there there was a lot of potential in this deal, but it sounds like you're, you're terminating. Well, the, it, it, don't don't bring a leader in and have them not lead. Why, you know, why would I argue with people who are getting paid by the gap? I'm sorry, you know, I'm not going to argue with people that are broker than me about money. Mm. God damn, Kanye, that's a you movie. He said it's never to this shit. I ain't gonna burn you. Y'all niggas ain't never seen the money I got, bro. I can't argue with y'all niggas, bro. Yeah, bro, yeah, he terminated the deal because Gap didn't put the shit in the storage yet, bro. He was mad. He was like, yo, yeah, right. like, it was like, supposed to be in stores. It was supposed to be already shipping online. They're like, yo, where you at? Oh, I don't know the legitimacy of that. Deal. No, that's that's what that's what I was reading. So um, what was it? What was it? So in the deal, it was supposed to the stuff was supposed to already have been inside of Gap Gap and like Gap stores, but mm-hmm. none of the stuff has really been in stores. It's only mm-hmm. been being sold online. He's yeah. like, yo, what are we doing? It's ain't part of the contract, and it's been month like about like a month and some change now, and y'all ain't put it out yet. So that's where it's his main reason for like pulling out because he felt like people weren't having like the experience, and you know how Kanye is. He want everything to come out on the right way in this way, and Gap wasn't moving at his speed. Mm. So he was like, "Yo, I'm getting up out of this piece. Boom, go watch it." I hope the people who really did order stuff from like the online site and all that stuff. Get their stuff, bro. Cause I, I would just be like, yo, yay, come on, bro. No, I can't real. blame him for y'all went to the right. Yeah, like that's the only thing that I've only been saying is that he's blaming them for not actually having the stuff in store. 
Mm. He's like, people are supposed to physically see this stuff, grab it, do what they're doing. You remember how he was trying to tell them to get it put it in the trash bag, that type of shit. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you yeah, know. And yeah, is get is Kanye the only way the, the gap could survive? Probably. Probably. Because mm. ain't nobody Maybe wearing some... gap. Niggas ain't wearing gap for real, bro. Nah, they ain't Niggas going to gap. gap. The name itself don't even sound appealing, bro. But deeper than gap. that. I feel like Kanye always wanted to do this. What do you mean? You know what I mean? So, like, what, Kanye used to work at the Gap, right? Stealing Mm -hmm. jeans and all that other shit. Mm -hmm. And in the mind of Kanye, in my head, I think that he really wanted the Gap to shut down. And he he wanted to be the reason why they closed. No. Deeper than that. Just because he was like, you know, fuck them. Fuck them for their job. That like in his mind, I'm like, yo, I feel like he's doing this shit no, on purpose. I think he actually wanted the gap to work. I just feel like they weren't trying to bend to his demands, and I feel like his demands weren't that that outlandish. The, like he mm, now, now we know it's Kanye. Them demands probably was bro, crazy. Bro, if I'm a brand that needs the money, bro, you let Kanye do his thing, bro. Bro, Kanye, is, he's on a side mission, bro. That's all this is. This is just inconsistent, bro. This is this is inconsistent. You've been like this. You left Nike. You left Adidas. Now you're leaving Gab. Like this is just what he's gonna do, bro. This is a side mission, bro. That's all this is. Hey, but so at this point, you gotta let Gap just Gap just take take the L. Let Kanye do what he gonna do. I don't know if Gap gonna bounce back. I'm just be honest with you. Gap is gone, boy. Niggas ain't running that shit. But um, so Kanye in a recent interview speaks on the future of communication. So Danny really loves the logo for the Donda Doves. And I'm existing in this like outside of time and space, 2000 years from now situation where we had this one moment earlier where he asked me about the fabrics and I didn't even have to say a word. We literally just were like communicating with like a head nod, like straight Jedi. That was the (laughs) one moment that showed where we'll get to, where our great, great grandkids or our our kids and our grandkids will get to that level of language because the Tower of Babylon, English, you know, the idea of having to speak correct English, like you're not gonna respect what I'm saying, even though you know what I'm saying, unless I'm speaking correct English. Well, that's like a version of every time I'm talking, I'm getting pulled over and having to do a, a alcohol test, walking down a yellow line with my finger on my nose. And while I want to express myself and I've seen like, kids express themselves and they just want to cry and someone will say use your words but what if they want to cry Mm -hmm. because we were given that form of expression and people hold that in Mm. what do y'all think about that sounds very all over Mm. so like like it's some stuff in there that's like okay i can get it. it it's 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 kanye language you know what I mean? It like skates on the surface of deep in like understanding to like, yo, what you talking about? Yay. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it, he was like, yeah, we just exchanged a look and we also Jedi. It was like, okay, yay, I get it. But then there's the ideals of uh the emotional output of children and stuff. And it's like, okay, I could hear, I hear what you're trying to get at. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's you a know, really if you uh... fellow. Yeah, he really is, bro. Because in the interview, he said, "Um, he said I'm right, just not right I'm now. Not right. Just not right mm. now. That shit hard, though. I ain't even gonna cap, bro. That's hard. But um, <laughs> nah, that, the, the video oh, upset, is so much, hard. So that, that is hard, though, bro. I was like, damn, bro, that's bars. But um, like, not like, like, like you never right. It's like um, just not right mm. now. Just not right. That's now. kind of hard, though. He made the most sense in this interview to me that he's ever made." in the previous life. five years like because i'm just like damn bro that shit kind of making sense now this whole thing about a new form of expression and you know mm-hmm. talking telepathically and using your emotions rather than your words it's a possibility that we could get to that point um it's a possibility yeah. that in the future there isn't any language everybody's just communicating through body expression and stuff like that so he might be i ain't gonna cap man i used to hate kanye with the antics and shit like that but i have a newfound respect for him i think he is kind of a visionary in a sense i hate to admit that but 
Yeah, I hate to admit it, but it's true, Progression. man. Like, Look at that. He really is ahead of his time, bro. He really is. Like, when you really listen to what he's saying, it's like, damn, bro. Like, you really smart. I see why you a billionaire. I see why. I see it. Because mm. it's like, the nigga Ooh. just be thinking ahead, bro. He really do. Mm -hmm. Like, he was talking about how he wanted to build structures that didn't have stairs because stairs are for people that are younger. And if we want to live long, we want to be able to adapt in environments where it doesn't matter what age you are, you can still live there. And that made so much mm. sense because we do have houses built for people that are young, middle aged. We don't have, you know, houses for fucking old people. Old people don't have a bunch of stairs because you can't, you know, you old, you can't walk upstairs. So I thought that yeah. was just brilliant, bro. Like, he just been kind of, he been making sense. So like I told Ron, I don't know if he taking his meds now or what, but... Nigga been Look, making man. sense these days. He definitely, ain't taking, he definitely ain't taking the meds. Calm a little bit. He, he definitely not taking his meds. <laughs> not taking his meds. I just think he calmed out a lot. Damn. Damn. I'm not right. I'm not right. But I'm just not right now. <laughs> that's hard, bro. Marlon, that's that hard. He's <laughs> not taking his meds, bro. That's hard, bro. But yeah, all right, man. Let's get into this last. Well, we got two more yep. topics, but all right. So a young woman gets on a show while working the streets. I'm outside working. I didn't know you were gonna put me on here. Okay, but you gotta bring the phone down so we can see your face. Okay, there you go. What's your name, boo? What's your name? Ladaria. Everybody calls me Beanie. Beanie, okay. Where are you calling me from? I'm from Chicago. Beanie, how old are you? I'm 25. Okay, what do you do for a living? You said you at work? Um, I'm an entertainer. You're an entertainer. What do you do for a, as an entertainer? Um, I work in strip clubs. I work the streets. You work the streets too? What do you do in the streets? <laughs> I'm the escort, you can say. <laughs> I'm the escort, you can say. You're an escort. Okay, is that legal? I don't know. <laughs> she said, is that legal? No, I'm just doing it now, so... Um, I'm almost finished um, stacking what I need to stack so I can start building my house. Okay, and you said you're working, so are you doing escort services at this moment? Yes. So are you waiting? How does that work? Are you waiting for someone to drive by, or do you have a set appointment? I have. I, I work the streets. I work the, the internet. Right now I'm working the streets, but I have regulars. I have sugar daddies, as they call it. I travel a lot. I travel the whole United States. Oh, okay. Um. Hmm. Okay. Wait. Where are you walking to? Right now, I'm in Dallas. And are you walking to somebody's home? No, I'm just walking. It's just called walking the street. So, are you waiting for somebody to just stop by and pull over to you? Yes. That sounds like prostitution, not escort. It's both. Um. Whatever you want to call it, whatever they want. Okay. So you know my show is a dating show. So why you're why you're um prostituting? You're looking for a boyfriend. I wouldn't say a boyfriend. I'll say a friend. Not as friend. I'm not looking for no money or nothing. I said I'm looking for a friend right now. Well, you know this ain't the PayPal, the um, the the pen pal show. Oh, look, I just told you I, I didn't come on here for that. So I'm what's come on here for then? That's what that's what we do here. I said I, okay. I said I'm looking for a friend. So are you looking for someone that you eventually want to date? Because that's yes, what we eventually. do here. Okay, and you want to be okay with you being a prostitute? Yes. Ben, that's the girl for you, bro. Yeah, hell no. Nah. 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 Well, no, I don't pay for these hoes. He tried, bro. She said he really did, though, Violet. He really did, bro. She is walking the corner, bro. Why you try me like that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> nah, hey, bro, man. She on the block, bro. She on the hey, block. She said, yeah, I'm walking right now. To where? 25 you can man. 25 bro slinging that throat to build her house bro bruh <laughs> yeah she building her house <laughs> hard bro. times man hard times she got to hit that though bro it, have bro, you seen her body I, have you seen her body i haven't seen her body i'm gonna post it i'm gonna post it on this bro tell me bitch i been fucking up the streets ho ask about me bitch i been Okay, okay. Oh, y'all gonna hit that, especially Marlon. Damn. I know I'm gonna hit that. 
I know you, bro. <laughs> I know you, bro. That's crazy, bro. Nah, bro. That she was so crazy. comfortable with it. She yeah. was so comfortable. She was like, yeah. With it, I travel the whole like, United like, States sucking dick. I mean, bro. you gotta be comfortable with it. Yeah. yeah. Might as well. Her, her dad must be so proud. Damn. Dad proud. My girl the making culture, her man. way. That's the girl, mom. I ain't lost my girl. Damn. <laughs> Mm-mm. Cause, bro, you you about all that, bro. You about you know sexual agency and shit, right? He's about what? Sexual agency, bro. <laughs> sexual agency. I'm about, I'm about yeah, sex. bro. It's niggas like Ben. It is niggas <laughs> like Ben. I can't stress it though. It is niggas like Ben. You gotta ben. finesse the words, bro. You gotta finesse the words. Nah, cause like, you see, you see how he try to like dance around that. I'm not a sexual, sexual freedom like, agency, but it's like, bro, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a captain of the same hole. Bro, yes, you are, bro. You an advocate you know, for like, you know, liberation and stuff. I'm advocate for the hoes, but I ain't, they ain't gonna be my hoe. Mm. Oh. <laughs> she ain't gonna be my hoe. Crazy. <laughs> what you mean? Like, I, I gave her the agency, but you won't be my bitch doing that. Damn. Man. Damn, bro. Like, that, that was cute, though. That bro, this life cute. is a game, bro. Speaking of games, mean? we got GTA 6, bro. We got footage for GTA 6. Yes, sir. That shit didn't get me excited at all. I was like, wow. Let God. me see this. No what, what the hell is that? Yeah, Strip is moving so slow, bro. Oh, bro. Dirty, <laughs> bro. Man, we're in the world of video games for real right now, bro. Dude, yeah, we got VR. We got GTA 6 coming mm-hmm. soon. Sooner than later, man. But you know what? The only game I'm excited for right now is God of War. Ragnarok, I knew you was going to say that for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't that the one with Thor or something like that? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. I can't wait to kill Thor fat ass. I do not give a fuck, bro. <laughs> yeah, I forgot he is fat bro. in there. Yeah. Bro, I cannot freaking wait, bro. I, I've been paying for the collector's edition of the game. Uh yeah. I, I'm I'm excited. So you think I should get a PS5 instead of an Xbox? Yes. Because mm. Xbox freaking garbage, bro. Look, look at Marlon. Look at Marlon his Xbox living life. Marlon, you got an Xbox? You got a Series uh-huh. X? Or a Series S? Series X. Wow. Which one's yeah. better, though? Which one's better, y'all? I'm, I don't like PS4 controllers, so I'm Xbox till I die. See, that's the thing. I do like those bulky controllers they got. For PS, uh, for the PS, uh, for the Xbox? Yeah. Like their controllers aren't bad, but the content and how it just looks. Mm-hmm. I don't want a system that looks like a trash can, bro. Damn. I want I want bro, something shit that looks like, futuristic. Your shit looks like a like a, like a damn air conditioner. Like that shit. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> the future. There's a futuristic air conditioner, good, sir. Bro. Yeah, man. It look like I, some I, alien tech. Yeah, it do. It just, bro. It's just such a good. System, it's the controller, bro. like. You know, flimsy a little bit though. Ain't it flimsy? No. Like if you squeeze it, is it gonna feel like it's gonna break? No. no. Oh, okay. Shit. No, I don't that, feel like it's gonna break. Nice. It's it's yeah, it's a uh, it's it's I don't know, man. Gotta work gonna be crazy. GTA, <laughs> I can't wait to get that. I haven't played GTA five in forever, bro, but I do know that mm. map very well. It, it's just I can't buy the game again, bro. I've I've paid for that game four times. Not proud to mm. say that. Them NPCs, boy. 